Hey, what's up everybody? Pastor Elliot here at Lifeline Church. I have a question for you. Have you ever felt like your relationship with Jesus is running a little stagnant? Well, today in this mentoring tip, I, I would love to share with you a, a couple insights that I believe could be some of the major factors that are hindering our closeness and relationship with Jesus. Today we're going to be reading out of John chapter 6, and I'm going to start right here in verse 26. This is right after Jesus feeds the 5,000. 5,000 men, way more people than that. But right after that story where Jesus feeds all those people, this is what happens. Jesus says this. Jesus replied to them, I tell you the truth. You want to be with me because I fed you, not because you understood the miraculous signs. But don't be so concerned about perishable things like food. Spend your energy seeking the eternal life that the Son of Man can give you. For God the Father has given me the seal of His approval. See, what's, what's happening here is what I think happens in a lot of our churches is that we come in with this idea, okay, Jesus, Father, what, what can you do for me? I, I need food, I need money, I need my relationship fixed, I need this, I need that. We're following Jesus, not for that relationship, not because He's what we need, but because we need something that He can give us. And when we come in with that mentality, Jesus speaks to us just like this. I tell you the truth, you don't want to be, you want to be with me because I fed you. Not, not because you're seeking eternal life from me. It says it probably a hundred different ways in our Bible um, that if we seek God first, everything else will be added to us. So here's my thought. I, I know we all have needs. I, I know that every single person listening to the sound of my voice right now has something that you would love for God to fix in your life. Can I get an amen on that? It might be your relationships. Maybe there's something going on. Maybe she or he isn't treating you just right. You wish they would, or they're not responding to your text. You wish they would. Um, you know, there could even be some pastors listening to me right now, and your the church finances are just down in the dumps, and you're like, God, I need you for this. I'm not saying it's bad to need things from God, but when our relationship is built on what God can do for us rather than what he means to us, I think we're missing something. And, and Jesus is quick to point that out to the people who are following. He's got a big crowd following him. That's like, you know, his Sunday morning service is cracking. He is feeling good about it. But he is quick to tell these people who are following him, hey, don't get caught up in everything I can do for you. And let's look at it this way. Do you think he would have stopped feeding these people if they kept following him? No, he would have kept feeding them. But the story goes on and they all split because he said, the bread you want is me. You got to eat my flesh, drink my blood and say those kinds of things. And they all took off. But you know what? Even if they didn't understand that, but they just stuck around with him. Let me tell you this, their needs would have been met. Guarantee you. So like it says in Matthew 6, 33, and like it says a hundred different other ways, this is what it really boils down to. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these other things, those will be added to you after you seek the kingdom of God. Jesus is, is imploring us, don't just seek me for what I can do for you. And that what I can do for you is awesome, believe me. He's saying, follow me for me. Follow me because you, you desire that eternal life that I can give you, not the sustenance I bring, not because I put food on your table and I, I can get you a promotion at work and I can make things work out in different areas of your life. Seek me for me and you'll have eternal life. So my encouragement to you is this, seek him for who he is. He loves you, cares for you. He wants to meet your need. God is called our provider. Not by accident, but because He provides. But let's not seek Him because He provides. Let's seek Him because we seek the eternal life that He brings. And the fact that He provides, the fact that He heals, that's just awesome. So let me just pray with you really fast before we part ways. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you for this opportunity that we have to, to meet each other on social media, to meet each other in, on the internet like this. Lord, I pray a blessing over every single person listening uh, to this mentoring tip. I pray favor, Lord, and I pray that we would seek you for you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless, and we'll see you again real soon.